My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. Or the Darkest Republic Estate thereof. Okay, so I sorted out everything I wanted to do last time. We've got everyone equipped. Let's just go on this mission. We are going to the Wield. It's a short mission. No one's got a tapeworm or anything like that, right? No. Okay, then. We'll just take that. Uh, let's take three shovels. One anti-venom, one bandage, one skeleton key, one holy water, and a full stack of torches. Seems good to me. Let's go. The paths are littered with poisonous traps. Oh, I probably should have had someone take scouting chance. Hmm. That's actually pretty important. Just to avoid the traps, basically. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. That's holy water. I think it's holy water for a positive perk as well. But it might be to take away a negative perk. Hang on. Okay, I'll use it on you just in case. Beast Slayer. Nice. Uh, is that extra crit? Yeah, it is extra crit and accuracy. Perfect. I don't care about Hater on him. Because I want him to have high crit, but I don't particularly care about his damage. If that makes any sense. Most of his damage comes after the fact with the bleed. Uh, you actually need to change your setup as well. Alright, I can only harvest. That was dumb. Plus, I didn't even level you up. Okay, that was really dumb. And I didn't even give you Hounds Harry. This is what happens. This is what happens when I don't actually focus. And I try and quickly draft a team for a thing. Give them no quarter. Don't do anything at the end of an episode. That's what I've learned here. That'll probably just kill it. Eh, that could have rolled a crit. A death by inches. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Okay, we'll loop back and then up around. No. Especially not with the composition of this party. Excuse me? Hang on, who ate all the fucking food? No, I only took eight. Right, 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 right. Never mind. For some reason, I thought I went down from ten to six. Which would have been problematic. Thankfully, no one has necromania. Eh, yeah, nice, we can sell that. Really? Well, at least everyone's still in a position that they can actually do something from. Faint hope blossoms. If you still had Finale, you'd be in a perfect position. Lead it. Two damage? No, that's one. Damn. Continue the onslaught. Destroy. Someone acts faster than this. Never mind. That'll do it. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Perfect. So this is actually where we're going to be really happy with our Eldritch Slayer. Let's try and start chunking this guy down, to be honest. Uh, I'm not going to have too many battles that are going to be as difficult as this. Okay. Harvest the Eldritch. Then you stun this one. Perfect. Big guy's gonna bleed to death. And he's kind of the biggest threat here. Because he synergizes with both of the artillery, the fungal artillery in the background, using their marks. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. 
I really didn't want to have anyone just focus down. Nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Slowly, Even bled that for the kill. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Mm hmm. Okay, you're dead to the bleed. And. Not dead yet. Let's see what we can do about that, though. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. As victories mount, so too will resistance. So I can easily throw away my keys because they don't really matter to me. Thank you. I can't get a secret room here anyway. Short dungeon, can't get a secret room. If I'm in a medium or long dungeon, I always have an extra key with me, just in case. Uh, this can actually be cured with something sometimes. I'm gonna just try and open it. Yeah, it's trapped. Fair enough. The light. The promise of safety. If I get a third hunger pang, I'm gonna be super annoyed, because that's not likely to happen. But it would totally screw me over, do a lot of damage to my whole party and stress everyone out. I really ought to have done a party heal there, but I just wanted to get one dead. I'm gonna stun. Perfect. So even if this one tries to go next for some reason, yeah. It'll die, since it died to the bleed, it didn't leave a corpse, then this one is in the back two slots. If they're in the front two slots, they use Reign of Blight, which is basically a blight against both the front party members, so it's abysmal, you don't want to have to run into that. Mm -hmm. I should start party healing. Reign of Blight. Sorry, Reign of Blight, I mean Escape Cloud. There we go, and then you get to escape cloud as well. Unless I stun you. God damn it! I really needed that stun. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay, please bleed. Perfect, you're dead. And now we can actually focus on getting some heals out. God damn it. For gosh's sake. Since there was another enemy alive for the majority of this round, I'm not going to have a bad time because of the stalling penalties. I probably should have just hugged my dog there. That would have been a better idea. Yeah. Oh well. Extra debuffs. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. No, there's no reason to interact with that right now. Mind that such missteps are the exception and not the rule. I really ought to have taken maybe a second bandage and a second... What else have we got here? Okay. There's another room battle. I'll go for it. Really ought to have taken a second bandage and probably also a yourself, second anti-venom. A victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. Okay, we're gonna do our final battle in this room, so there's actually nothing that can happen after this the room. Way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. God damn it, roll six to twelve and rolls to seven. Okay. Can we stop with all of the stress, please? It's been an extraordinary amount of stress so far. A singular strike. That'll help. One down. 
We need the other stressor down as well, but nothing we can really do about that right now. Okay, it's coffee time while we watch all their turns resolve. Oh, accusation, really? Hmm. Couldn't have imagined such a thing would happen. I do need to roll this for the bleed. You're still not even dead to bleed. But you are stunned, so... Actually, you are dead to bleed, you're just... You seem like you aren't. But you totally are. Broken swipe doesn't crit, no death's door. Stun him. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Don't go first, mad prick. More doom saying. God damn it! I'm gonna have to treat this whole party. At least two members of it. I should have just resolved myself to the fact that I have to treat two of the members. So, if I'm going to have to treat two of the members, I may as well cure the stress on the members with the lowest stress. Because these are getting treated anyway. Mm, that would actually be clever. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Every cleared path and charted route reduces the isolation of our troubled estate. On guard and fear of mankind. Did I already lock in his quick draw? Because on guard is way better. Can you feel it? The walls between the sane world and that unplumbed dimension of delirium are tenuously thin here. What a matter of phobia is already locked in, damn it. Alright, we definitely can't take out a low-level party, so let's do the obvious stuff. Faded gets locked in, slow draw gets locked out. On Guard is basically a better version of Quick Draw. But On Guard has to be locked in and Fear of Mankind has to be locked out. It's just a wrestling character. There's nothing to be afraid of. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Alright. Anyone else got a horrible disease that needs to be removed? Rabies is fine, actually. Wasting Sickness is pretty bad. Tapeworm is really bad. You actually need to have that removed. I'm not taking you out until you have Tapeworm removed. You have the worries, tetanus, griping in the guts. The worries also ought to be removed. Okay, do I have any double trinkets again? Really starting to feel the burn on my money right now. Little Star Warp buckle. Rarely even use one, unlikely to use two. Okay. Everyone get back out of here. Sodden Crew. I definitely want to do that. Eldritch Slayer Ring. I kind of want to have a second Eldritch Slayer Ring as well, actually. But that's a low mission. Oh, God, they're both low missions. It just locked away my low team. Damn it. And we're looking at mediums then. Berserk Charm is nice, but I never get to use mine. I think I ought to take the... Bullseye Bandana here. Let's see if that'll take a high level mission. No, I'll take the Bullseye Bandana. Just in case I ever want to run Double R list. Or possibly in a situ- Wow, I actually have surprisingly few members in the middle levels. I might not even have a full team in there. I have Poisson as a healer or Darker as a healer. If we're going to the like, Cove it is... Poisson, you are an Eldritch Slayer. And you've got Abyssal Artillery. Okay, Poisson, you are going to be my healer in the back line. Um, so Maul is a Cove Tactician, aren't you? And an Eldritch Slayer, so you're definitely coming along. Stalwart, you're a Cove Adventurer. I don't know if I want to take Stalwart, actually. Frightened's definitely coming along, just because you are surprisingly amazing. 
No matter what I do with you, you turn out to be really fucking good. <sighs> Mr. Yeah, you should be fine. But if I'm taking you, you might as well be in first position so that you can capitalize upon the trinkets that you have. Okay. Let's check out... Tomol, have I ever locked anything in for you? I haven't, so I might not want to super invest in you. But at the same time, I already did, so... Too late. Okay, everyone gets one ability up- well, two ability upgrades, maybe, if your abilities are that good. You've already got those upgraded. Okay. Can I move right into the back row? I totally can! You're gonna take Sacrificial Stab, Abyssal Artillery, and I need to sell some trinkets. Okie dokie, Hellstone, horrible. Never gonna take that instead of a... where are you? Life Crystal. I'm gonna have uh, Eldritch killing occultist in this party. Rocket sensor is really bad. Now, it used to be good, it would be good in the early game, but it's not good anymore. Lead skill chance, I have better versions of that. Flight resist, better versions of that. Move resist is not good enough. Stun skill chance, again, not good enough. Okay, we should be fine. Take this. Now, do I need marks for this party? Not really. Frightened does benefit from a mark, but it's not enough. It's like 25 extra damage you get from a mark. Yeah. Uh, it's not enough to run a marked setup. Especially when I can be taking Weakening Curse instead. Okay, so Poisson, you are going to have these as your abilities, and you're going to be a Eldritch Killing Occultist with an Eldritch Slayer's Ring. We are going to have you kill Mother Flippin' Eldritch. These do extra 30% damage to Eldritch. This, this could be excellent. You've also got Eldritch Slayer. I think it might be one of my best ideas to date. Alternatively, it's real bad. Okay. What else? Was that everything upgraded that I wanted upgraded? I think it was. So you guys do a little bit of swapsies. You need to take Obv. That and... I don't want to give you the focus ring. What do I usually give you? Negative accuracy, negative crit. Maybe I can get away with giving you Berserk Charm. Extra, extra damage, extra speed. You don't need extra speed, so... Why would I do that? That actually doesn't make sense. I'm not going to do it. Solar Bracer seems a good idea for you, actually. More crit. Alright. You already have your setup. You get Swordsman's Crest and probably a Warrior Bracer, if I had to assume. You have a lot of accuracy. You'll take the Warrior Bracer. And then you're in the front line. You take the Berserk Mask and... What's the other one I take with it? Berserk Mask and something? I think it might be Fortunate Armlet, but I'm not certain. Oh no, Surgical Gloves. Is that is that my standard build? I totally keep forgetting what my standard build for a lot of these characters are. But that seems really good. That's plus accuracy at least. Maybe it's Focus Ring I usually put alongside that? Yeah, I think it might be Focus Ring that I usually put alongside that. I'll give you the Focus Ring. It's less crit, but it's more accuracy. And if you miss, I'm going to be super sad. Alright. You're set, you're set, you're set, you're set. Let's go. Now, it is a long dungeon, and I do have an unlikely he unlikely healer. What am I talking about? A healer that is unreliable, plus I have a raider. So I need everything that I can take. Four of those. Four of those. Three. Some more shovels. Now I also need torches, but I don't have any money for them. Let's sell something. Extra crit on melee skills. Extra bleed on melee skills. 
Uh, that's sharpening. That's not horrible. I might actually use that at some point in the future, so we'll leave that there. Fasting seal. Negative 100% food consumed. Negative 100 damage when starving. That's just extra fire dodge. It's not that bad, actually. Hmm. Think I might have to sell the heavy boots. Stack and a half of torches, and another shovel for good measure. Looks good to me. Can anyone take mapping? Not really. Alright, we'll leave. Oh boy. The end of the first year, that must mean I'm done 52 weeks. The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. Give me some of that rotten fish. I have the medicinal herbs to clear it. Very nice. Extra food. Make sure that I have 75 torch every single time I go into a room, even if I know the room is empty, so that I have the highest amount of scouting chance. Uh, 4, 5, 10, 14. So I can skip two rooms, so I can skip both of those. I'm not going to, just for the fact that if I do get a scout, I might end up might end up finding the secret room is all the way up here. I don't want to have to backtrack all the way up here. Perfect. This is a surprise. We should kill them before they even get a turn. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. He does actually a lot of damage. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Is anyone surprised by the amount of damage that Tomol does, by the way? I don't Triumphant think so. pride precipitates a dizzying fall. It's like 14 to 25. Nice, that's a solid scout. Very nice. Uh, you know what? I don't want to go clear an obstacle just to go to a room battle. I'm going to leave. That's just wasting a shovel so that I can go interact with something. Well, not even interact with something, actually. It's just a battle. Yeah, I'll ignore that. But thanks to having gone down this route, I've given myself, first off, the peace of mind knowing that I haven't got anything up there that's worthwhile. One sec while I clear these. Um, I'll trade that for the food, I think. I've given myself the peace of mind of knowing there's nothing up there that I'm interested in. But also, now I can skip something later. So I can skip this room or this room, depending on what I want. Sorry, did you just say all this darkness perfect for an ambush? It wasn't even dark, you nerd. Mind that such missteps are the exception, and not the rule. It's a solid scout. We may as well explore out in this direction. It's a free room, basically. Also, there's a curio up here. Turns out to be a barnacle chest. I'm gonna crack it. <sighs> Money and deeds. I really don't care about crests right now, so this is probably the first thing to disappear. Stack our torches, give ourselves a free slot. Oh, free torch. Nice. I'm going to let the torch continue running out because I don't care about trying to go for a scout chance in this room. But it'll be below 50 by the time I get to these curios, so I'll give myself extra loot chance through them. Stashed heirlooms. Oh, there goes the crests. Had to happen sooner or later. And that's empty. Perfect. Now I turn the torch back on because I want to scout as soon as I get into this main room. So I can see what's going on over here. Nice. Backwards. I don't need to visit that room or that room now. Perfect. The way is lit. The path is clear. 
We require only the strength to follow it. I used to torch a little early there, but basically it was just to make sure that I didn't get ambushed in any way, shape, or form. These are Eldritch. Okay. That's fine. They've got huge protection. I wasn't going to be able to kill one anyway. Nice. Can I get a stun off here? No. I haven't got stun equipped. I should probably take Bulwark of Faith off and put the stun on. I have no clue how I haven't done that yet. I can blight you pretty easily, actually. And it'll kill you. Yeah. Nice! I'm trying to just roll stress heal, because this guy's going to die to his May we find things anyway. Victory. Solid. It does bleed him, though. A death by inches. That portrait's no longer important as well. Portraits are used for upgrading the guild. And use a shovel. Yeah. Fuck. Let's throw away the holy water. Portraits are used for upgrading the guild. And our guild is already fully upgraded. It's also used for... Oh, shit. Uh, I want to open that, but I can't afford to right now because I don't know if I'm going to have more problems afterwards. Uh, lower your accuracy? Like, intimidate you? No, I just need to go for damage. Damn it. I really ought to also start blighting this guy. His blight resist is tiny. Backline slap should be able to kill both of those. But Arterial Pinch is going to be really horrible. Arterial Pinch is the reason that I brought four bandages just, just for that reason. Don't bring her forward again. What the fuck? Really? Bringing you that far forward. Back of the party. Okay, she managed to fix the positioning at least. Use a bandage, go for a hit. Don't you gosh damn dare. Yeah, take this guy's fiend falls. A faint hope blossoms. See, you should be blighted again. Nice dodge. Excellent. That saves us a bandage and an incredible amount of damage. Uh, this I'll actually do. Make sure spear fishing doesn't get off. Nice. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? I only have one shovel left. It's too likely that I need that shovel As to clear a wreckage. Gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. I'd love to open the clan, but I really just can't afford it. I might end up backtracking all that way just to clear the clan, though. Perfect. I brought a lot of medicinal herbs, and I didn't really get to use any of them. Centric. What are you more valuable than? Nothing right now. I really should have rested at some point. For some reason, I thought this was a short dungeon. Although, it's this big, but I still thought it was a short dungeon in my brain. Tells you how bad my brain is. Yeah, Sky Slap should be fine. Let's make sure that one's dead. Stress Wave hits the back line for only 15 damage. Sky Slaps. The ground quakes. I love, I love this occultist setup that I've done. Also, your, yeah, Sacrificial Stab can hit the third line. That's incredible for a melee skill from the third line back here. Like, the Bounty Hunter has something that can do that, and that's super expired. Exciting. What am I talking about? Exciting. Uh, that's super surprising as well. A singular strike. It's going to be really difficult to do anything except for hit the guy at the front here, so I may as well just hit him. Don't really have a stun to roll, unfortunately. 
Octocestus for zero damage. Zero bleed for zero minutes. Okay, that's fine. Uh, throws it the uh, lady at the back of the party and it still hit, still hits the front. I mean, I can't hit the back line anyway, so I may as well just the heal. The promise of safety. Nice. That has a huge crit modifier. The fact that that's the first crit I've got is actually really surprising. So you've got nine as your base, then you've got plus three against Eldritch, so twelve. Then you've got four from this, so sixteen. Then you've got Sacrificial Stab taking you up to twenty-eight. Twenty-eight percent chance to crit. Precision and somehow and you still manage power. to not crit a lot of times. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Have I had like a single hunger pang this entire time? I don't think we have. Uh, I can't rest, unfortunately, while this screen is up, weirdly. That used to be a thing you could do. Oh well. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. An uneasy companionship. No one has diseases, so I can't cure anything with the snuff box, unfortunately. I actually thought I was going to be able to do that. Juice's supply item seems like a decent idea. Some food. Guess we'll just have you Zealous Vigil. We'll have you Zealous Vigil, Zealous Speech, and then someone should give a pep talk to him as well. So now everyone has higher stress resistance. So no secret room on this entire map. Okay. Well, actually, there's also no obstacle, so I may as well crack this open with a shovel. That's good news. <laughs> I think I can open this with Ben. No, I can't. Okay. Let's just try and open it naturally. Receives a nasty gash, which I could have killed with a bandage. Okay, that's that's what I was thinking about when I was thinking of the word bandage. Just roll solid damage. The occultist will slap down the back line. I really need to start the blights. The occultist can just sacrificial dagger. Take her out. Don't send him to the back of the party, please. Thank you. I don't care if he gets stunned, but don't send the leper to the back of the party. I've repeatedly referred to the leper as a she, because I was pretty certain it was, but then... I looked up some of the lore and history relating the leper, and no, is he. My bad. Although that counterbalances all of the people that keep saying the plague doctor is a she, so. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. As far as I'm concerned, I'm evening out the playing field. Despite its morbid aspect. This twisted, cavernous maze seems almost traversable. I'm really not getting as much gold as I thought I did. Yeah, that's not much. Not in my eyes, at least. Especially when I was prioritizing gold. Resilient, replaces fast healer, that's excellent. Uh, that's pretty good as well. Argyomania and that. Alright, we need to cure tetanus. I really don't mind about po uh, Poisson's spotted fever. Unless I'm going to a heavily blighting area, I really don't care. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. So this is what all the money was saved up for, so I could do a bunch of lock-ins and lock-outs. So now we have a low-level Alfrey, who's locked in faded. That's really good. He's never gonna miss, basically, at that point. Um, who else locked something in? You locked in on guard. I don't know why I had her locked in cre uh, quick reflexes when she could just lock in on guard at one point or something. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of characters that don't have anything locked in. Bokun's locked in evasive, of course we have. 
Someone else I locked something in on recently as well. Can't recall, unfortunately. Monselge just doesn't have anything that's amazing for him. He does have quick reflexes, that's pretty good, but what I'm looking for to be amazing for him is more. Just more than that. I want to upgrade the furnace, but I don't have armor smithing rank 4 yet. God damn, the deed farm is real. Right, you're a backtracker who misses the spot. Misses the spot is impossibly bad for you. Negative one crit. Never taking that. Love interest in Dispermania. Dispermania, there's like... Dipsomania, rather. There's only one, I think. There's only one Curia that's actually related to alcohol, so I don't really need to care about that. Ruins Explorer, Unyielding. So that puts your death blow resist to 77. Do I have a martyr seal? Can I look at the stats on that? No, I don't. Is there a martyr seal available? I want to look at the stats on it. Baldry. No. And again, another no. Gosh dang, we're just not getting good opportunities to pick up party members here. Oh, there's a martyr seal. Nice. That's extra death blow resist by 12. So that'll take you up to 89 death blow resist. Is there anything else that increases your death blow resist? I think there is. There's like a stalwart badge or something like that. There's something for the Crusader that re increases your death blow resist as, ro as well. That I've turned down taking a few times. Padlock of Transference I would be able to sell. Dark Tambourine, I think I already have one. Yeah, I totally do. I've got a Dark Tambourine. I've got a Hell's Hairpin. I think I might have... Dark... No, I don't. I thought I had a Dark Bracer. Well, that is a shame. I really thought I had a Dark Bracer, but that would be really good for a nuclear setup. Okay, you're still holding on to that Tenacity Ring. Ah, there we go. That's... I could take my Death Blow Resist to 99 with a Tenacity Ring and the Martyr Seal. And Unyielding, of course. Ah, oh, Beast Slayer's Ring! Fucking finally! I mean, uh, finally. Yay, good. You're a Beast Slayer as well. Oh, we are so going to that next mission. So, Fatong, you are a Beast Slayer also. Actually, I think I should start upgrading. No, you've got a Fear of Beast. Okay, that's the reason you can't come along. You should go there. I'll take Breville. I'll take uh, Beauvoir. I'll take Fribois. Really, Fribois? Could take Alfrey. You are a Beast Slayer. Yeah, I think I take you. Which also means that I should probably change your skills up a little. Rather than start next episode and have all of the wrong skills unlocked. So if you're going in the third row, you're taking that. But you're not going in the third row. Fuck. Which means I don't take Alfrey. Well, that was dumb. I did need to upgrade his skills sooner or later, but still, that was stupid. You're going in the third row. Cry Havoc can't be used from there, but Lick Wounds can. Okay. Okay. Fribois replaces you. I don't have a mark generator. Maybe I should give Breville a mark. Low level equipment is actually really cheap and a decent upgrade as well, so no reason not to pick those up right now. No huge reason to get anything else though. Sniper shot. Okay, have that as your setup. Pump that across there. Fatong, you haven't leveled up recently. No, you haven't. Okay. Perfect, and everyone's set up for the dungeon. Excellent. Can I set up their trinkets as well? Oh, uh, I want to actually start an episode and immediately just go, and we're going into this dungeon. Isn't this exciting? We're already doing a thing. Um, I think I still give you focus ring, to be honest. Yeah, your accuracy isn't good enough. You need a focus ring. Could give you this. It's a lot extra crit. It's four extra crit. I'm gonna do it. 
This is dodge and speed. No, definitely not worth. I don't have like a beast slayer ring or anything like that. Give you the steady bracer and the cudgel weight. I think you've also got the right skills locked in. Perfect, you do. Your pretty obvious Vestal setup of Sacred Scroll, Tome of Holy Healing, and you take Wrathful Bandana and Bullseye Bandana. And that is going to be... Excuse me? Negative 10 from Disease. Oh, right. Yeah, she has the negative 10 from Disease. Eh, Bullseye Bandana should make up for the majority of that. And that is what we're going to be running with next time in Darkest Dungeon. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been the Darkest Dungeon. Or rather, the Darkest Republic Estate in Darkest Dungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. There is a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on the video game past, present, and future. And hopefully we'll see you next time.